Lift off for the man who says he's reinvented flying. Frankie Zapata's jet-powered hoverboard reaches speeds of 87 miles an hour. The first half of the flight was good, but once he was out of sight of the cameras and needed to refuel at halfway, things got a bit damp. He wasn't hurt, as his wife Kristin told reporters in Calais. La plateforme, en fait, elle, elle bougeait trop. Uh... She said the platform on the boat was moving too much. There were too many waves. He couldn't get hold of the platform. The attempt took place on the 110th anniversary of Louis Blériot's first powered flight across the Channel. The spirit of 1909 is strong, but our welcoming party will have to wait another day. Well, there might be a few bluebirds, but no hoverboard over the white cliffs of Dover today. But Frankie Zapata is a determined man. He will try again once everything has dried out a bit. Back in Calais, France's latest daredevil was back on dry land. And when I approached the platform, it just tilted on the pitch. He hit the feet of the flyboard, and then it was the, the disaster. <laughs> but um, we're back in France, we're back at home. We will reboot it. And, and do it again. This was his training run yesterday, and it shows a good view of the actual hoverboard. He literally straps his boots onto five mini jet engines. The fuel tank on his back is not large enough to make it across the channel. That's why he needed to refuel at halfway. Frankie Zapata wants to be a record breaker, and he certainly has the dedication you need. Simon Viger, Five News.